it's Kay. Today's video is a special Christmas in July collaboration with a few of our crafty friends. We will be talking about that a little more in just a bit. For now, let's get started! Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use a piece of 1x8 that I got from Home Depot back in the section where they have the damaged wood. I love to look back there because you can find some nice pieces and they normally have very little damage to them and you get a good price. This piece is 39 inches long and it is already stained because I was using it as part of my shelving for my crafts display. Some Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white some letters that I printed off from my computer that spell believe. Now these were blown up to fit my 39 inch sign and I will put a link down below if you would like to have a copy of this. Some carbon paper that I got from Office Depot but they also sell it on Amazon. A Santa Claus hat that I got from Dollar Tree last year. A permanent marker, I like these jot permanent markers from Dollar Tree and my glue gun and some glue sticks. So the first thing I'm going to do is give my board a good coat of my Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Now I do prefer the Waverly chalk paint, but I was out of it and I didn't want to have to go to town. I had this on hand and it was a little thick, but it still worked out just fine. I'm going to paint the front, the back, and all the sides of my board and set it aside to dry. Once my board is dry, I'm going to add my word to it. Now, there's so many different ways that you can add your word to your project, and this time I chose to use the one where I use carbon paper. Now, I did print this out on my computer, and I blew it up so that it would fit on a 39-inch board, and that meant it took four sheets of paper to print it out. I went ahead and taped those together so that it would be perfectly in line, and then I'm going to tape it down down to my board. Now I'll just put a piece of carbon paper below my paper in between it and my board and then I trace over the letters and it's going to transfer it to my project. Now as I said before there's lots of ways you can do your wording. If you have a cutting machine by all means you could cut this out of vinyl that would be really easy to do but we like to show y'all how you can make these beautiful kinds of projects even if you don't have a cutting machine. Now for this one I'm using carbon paper but if you don't have carbon paper you could scribble on the back with a pencil and do the same thing. Now that my letters are transferred over to my project, I'm going to use a permanent marker and fill them in. I love these Jot permanent markers from the Dollar Tree. They have such a good flow. To me, they work even better than the Sharpies do. Now, once I finish filling this in, I am going to seal it, but I didn't show it on camera. I just used a spray sealant, but if you're gonna be setting this outside, you really need to make sure that you seal it because if it gets wet, this will run because it is chalk paint and it is permanent marker. So make sure you seal your project. Once I have all of my letters on my board, I'm just going to take my sanding block and go over those edges and kind of rough it up and give it more of that farmhouse aged look. Y'all know that I really love that look, but this is preference. The last thing I'm going to do is take my Santa Claus hat. I'm going to put it over the end of my board, kind of at an angle. I'll use some hot glue on the front, a little bit on the sides, and a drop or two on the back. And then I'm also going to glue down my little ball there on the front so it stays in place and this project is finished. <music> Today we are excited to be teaming up with some of our sweet friends for Christmas in July. We can't wait to share tons of inspiration with you for your own Christmas decor or to sell. If you haven't heard of DIY Beauty on Purpose, Farm Charm Chic, or Kathy Jo DIYs, we hope that you will check them out. Everyone is so talented and have a variety of gorgeous DIYs and crafting information on their channels. 
when you finish our video, go over and check out what each lady has created. We will have a link to the playlist in the description box below. Make sure you tell them we sent you over. If you are new and coming over from another channel, welcome. We are so happy to have you join us. We release new videos each week. We're sure you can find something you will like with Crafting Cousins. Now, let's craft y'all. Hey y'all, this is Kay. Let's gather up a few supplies and make a Christmas in July craft. I'm going to be using this wooden tag that I paid 89 cents for at the thrift store. And yes, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. That's where this one came from. But 89 cents is still cheaper than $1.25. I'm going to be using a scrap piece of fabric, this red and white buffalo check. I'm going to be using this iron-on that I made with my Cricut Joy, but you could also use iron-on letters that you get from any craft store. I'm going to be using two and a half inch wired ribbon that I got at Michael's to make a bow. This wooden word that I got from the Dollar Tree, they come in a pack of two. Some rather large wooden beads. I got mine at Binge, but they sell them on Amazon because that's where these came from some jute twine, some chalk paint in white, black, and red, and finally some Mod Podge, some Fabri-Tac, and hot glue. So the first thing I did was remove the tag, of course, and then I gave the front of the piece a really good sanding. My intention was to paint the front and the edges, which I'm doing here. I even put tape on the back, but I found out that I could still see it just a little bit through there, and I wanted to make sure that that didn't show through my fabric. So I do end up going in and giving it a really good coat of the black chalk paint, the front, the back, and the edges. I'm going to take two of the wooden beads and string them onto my wooden dowel and I'm going to paint them in the black chalk paint. I'm going to take the word home and I'm going to paint it with the white chalk paint. I'm going to paint all of those little nooks and crannies and edges and of course the front. And the last of the painting on this project will be painting two of those wooden beads in the red chalk paint. Then I'm going to lay out my fabric and kind of decide where I want it to go. And once I do that, I'm going to actually iron on the For Christmas, follow your manufacturer's directions, and then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to start centering it here on my board. This fabric does have a little give as most fabrics do, so I'm going to pull it pretty tightly across the side and the bottom to make sure I have it lined up. I even used some little clips on the sides to make sure it stayed in place perfectly while it dried. And once it does dry, you're going to go in with a coat of Mod Podge on the top as well. And if you want to, you can go ahead and coat that black at the top. I cut a piece of twine about 22 inches long, and then I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm going to take the loop edge and pull it through the hole on my sign, and then pull my twine back through it. And then I'm just going to string on my beads on that double twine, red, then black, then red, then black. And once I get that done, I'm going to tie a tight knot so that they don't slide. And then I'll tie another knot closer to the top. Then I used Fabri-Tac to attach the word home down to my sign at an angle. And once it's on there like I want it, I'm going to put several books on it and let it dry for about an hour. Now let's make a bow. I'm going to use my Easy Bow Maker, my two and a half inch wired ribbon. I'm using three inch loops on each side. I did three three inch loops on each side and then an extra loop right in the middle to hide the zip tie that I'm going to use. My tails are about six inches long, but y'all, I ended up cutting them to four inches later. So I'm going to place my zip tie through the back there and then we'll cinch that down, cut off the excess. And of course, every bow needs a lot of fluffing and you do need to cut those ends either at an angle or you can dovetail them as I have done here. And then once we have it like we want it, I'm just going to use hot glue to attach it right down to my tag. And with that, this project is complete.
hey y'all it's Trish for this project I'm going to use this old sign that I got at Goodwill outlet for 59 cent it did have part of a picture on the front but it was paper so I just peeled it off and we will use this base some joy to the world sheet music that I got from Google and printed out I just googled sheet music and found several options that I could use some Mod Podge some Waverly chalk paint in ink and I do also end up using some in white as well a template of a tag and the word joy that I printed out with my computer I'll put a link to this below if you'd like to have it a wooden plank from the Dollar Tree a couple of jingle bells I had left over from last year I think they came from Dollar Tree some leftover greenery and berries that I had from last year some cotton twine from the Dollar Tree a piece of chalk and a white Orteza gel pen some ribbon of choice I got this from Walmart last year and my glue gun and some glue sticks the first thing I'm gonna do is attach my sheet music to my sign base now I didn't have to worry about painting this because the picture had already just about tore off and I just finished lifting it but if you did still have a picture on there you would probably want to paint over it so it doesn't come through your sheet music I put a good coat of my Mod Podge down across this laid my sheet music on top and then used my fingers and my roller to make sure I got all the bubbles and wrinkles out and set it aside to dry once it was dry, I'm going to take my sanding block and I just go around the edges and sand down and this is going to take off all the excess paper and it leaves a really nice edge. Now I'm going to take one of those wooden planks that I got from the Dollar Tree and I took a template of a tag that I printed out and I'm just going to trace around the top of it. Then I'm going to use my little four inch table saw and I'm going to cut this down. Now we get a lot of questions about this little table saw. We got ours from Harbor Freight. It was about $35 when we got it but they've went up to about $40 now and it is the best money I have ever spent. It takes care of these little projects so easily easily now I'll just take my sanding block and take off any splinters that were left at the top and then I'm going to use my hole punch and punch a hole in it to make a cute little tag now I'll take my Waverly chalk paint in ink and I'm going to give the whole thing a really good coat of paint front back and sides and then I'll set that aside and let it completely dry once my paint is dry I want to put my word joy on here so I just printed out the word I flip it over and I color on the back with some chalk this is the same method we do when we scribble on the back with a pencil but since this is a dark surface I did use chalk so you could see it once I get it covered I lay it on my project where I want my word to be and I'm going to trace over it with my pencil and then I did end up using my Arteza gel pen to outline my letters, but it wasn't flowing real well, so I couldn't fill it in with them like I have before. So once I got it outlined, I just grabbed my Waverly chalk paint. I had just a little bit left in the bottle. I added some water to kind of thin it out, and then I used a small brush and just painted it in. And this worked perfectly. There wasn't a lot in there, but it worked for what I needed it to do. Once I got everything painted in, I set it aside and let it dry. Now I'm going to make a bow for my piece and this is going to be a really simple one. I took my ribbon and wrapped around my hand twice. Then I slipped it off and I pinched it up in the center. I took a piece of twine wrapped around about three times and tied into a double knot really tight. We're going to trim that off and then just kind of fluff it up, pull those tails down and fluff out those loops on each side. I'm going to bend those tails in half and cut at an angle. This is called dovetailing and this is just going to finish up the ends of my tails and make them look really nice. 
Now for my tag, I'm gonna take a piece of my twine and put it through the hole, and then I'm gonna tie a knot in the top and trim that off, and that's just gonna give me a finished looking tag. I'll attach it by using a little bit of hot glue on the bottom and on the string, and then I'll use some hot glue on my bow and put it right at the top of my string on my tag. To decorate it, I'm gonna take a little bit of greenery that I had left over from last year. I glue some to the top, I take some little pieces and glue there at the bottom. Then I'm gonna use a couple pieces of my lamb's ear and I'm gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom. And then for my jingle bells, I'm gonna use two of them. I use some hot glue and glue them right in the middle of my bow, one at top and one at bottom. I like how that looks. And then to give it a little bit of color and finish it off, I'm gonna take some of these berries, I just clip out some pieces and glue them in at different areas just to whatever you like. And once you get those on, this project will be finished. So much for joining us today please don't forget to click on the link in the description box below and go check out the christmas in july playlist to get lots more christmas inspiration thank you so much for watching today if you saw something you liked we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions we just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow we are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all!